Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial based uh, research channel but I uh, will not be doing the uh, tutorials or show you uh, any research in action um, but I do highly recommend go and have a look at the early videos so you can see the research in action it really does help you understand what I'm doing and um, how we're pulling these uh, anomalies out of the images so right for those of you who are not new um, yes I am a bit rusty um, but I'm trying to get some stuff out there so I thought I'd do this one quickly um, this was sent to me by a fellow researcher and um, basically uh, I just thought it would be uh, a good little exercise to demonstrate that it's not just the uh, the actual um, mission photographs that contain um, anomalies um, it's stuff like uh, like this so unfortunately I don't know um, I know who sent it to me but I don't know the source of this image but um, I will find out and I'll update you in another another video but basically what we're looking at here is um, a layout of the moon from I presume um, one of the uh, the late 60s um, reconnaissance uh, missions um, like I say I don't know I haven't got any information so it's just going to be a quick one and there's just some things I want to demonstrate so what they you can see they're wearing socks so these are large photographs um, which have been developed and obviously laid out in you can see here um, an area of the moon or one half or I'm not entirely sure but okay right a few things which you can see the striping which we're familiar with um, which I believe was from the radio signals and how they were um, put back together um, and we do know we have spoken about as well that in the late I think it was about 69 they developed software which would eliminate this sort of stuff so I'm not going to go full on into it but um, I just want to show you um, how much this doesn't look like um, the familiar moon surface that, that we are familiar with so what I'm going to do I'm just going to change this a little bit so you can get see it a little bit better. It's a terrible photograph. It's actually quite large when it comes in. So just a few things I want to point out and then we'll have a quick look at the uh, the enhanced one and uh, then you can more or less relate it to the the actual um, reconnaissance orbiter photographs so you can see how they've laid this stuff out um, and what's quite unusual as well is like it's, it's uh, very linear um, uh, which like I say if you look at the other moon photographs that I've done um, it, it bears uh, a huge resemblance to them and um, now this I can't work out what this is here I don't know if this is like a, a small model on a plinth which they've laid on the floor or it's part of um, the image but I'll show you I'll show you a little bit more in a minute So you can see this guy is pointing to, and this does not look like the moon's surface to me um, at all. And I think they have prints going attached to the wall as well. 
or smaller prints I'm not quite sure but um, like I say I haven't got any information on this so you can take this uh, one as you uh, as you like but um, there's just a few things I want to point out and uh, see how you get on with it okay this is the as far as I've got with the enhancement on it and uh, is that going yeah okay so we look immediately it just doesn't look like moon surface um, for those of you who are new, uh, you probably just thinking that I'm off my rocker and uh, you know what the hell am I looking at? But this is supposed to be <clears throat> the moon surface. And like I say, if you if you refer to what these guys are viewing in relation to um, the other um, moon videos that I've done um, you'll understand what we're possibly looking at <clears throat> lots of tearing lots of um, you can see uh, structures laying upon other structures and areas of it moving under these um, it's really look like they call them platform tiering type sort of constructions here as well this doesn't look like a moon rock there's this area here as well which was on that plinth um, so that, but I'm not sure about this one so uh, I can't work that one out if it's a large structure or is it actually let's just have another look actually something they've laid on to one of the prints see the carpet looks quite funky as well that's weird and it's not a point of uh, clutching at straws here and stuff um, I wouldn't bother showing it to you if I didn't think um, this looked like the moon's surface as we know it because obviously it, it does not it looks very structured it looks very manufactured and um, yeah I mean um, if you do um, follow this sort of stuff you'll know uh, it is not the case the moon is absolutely covered in constructions of some description um, it's so obvious that uh, it's incredible no one uh, no one uh, <laughs> believes that The moon is inhabited. So you could say it's a bad, it's a very bad old photograph, um, and it's just distortion or pixelation. Let's just go and have a look where the pixels are. It's actually a really quite a decent sized image. There are more pixels there. So what we're looking at is actually in the photograph and look at the guys I mean if if it was that distorted they would be distorted as well and uh, they're not
classic um, formations here. looking so I will find out where this photograph came from I mean this is a uh You would say if you originally saw this in whatever publication it came out um, well I would I mean it's you know people are blind I mean they believe what they're told and simply not the case So, I mean, there's there's not a huge amount to explore on this like uh, the other videos. And if you are new, just, uh, just pause it and take your time and have a look at this. And exactly the same with the, the other videos and stuff. It will take you a while to adjust to the image. Um, <clears throat> and excuse me uh, eliminate battling with your own mind because it wants to be logical about these sort of things and uh, this is this is half the problem we have when um, looking into this sort of uh, research So like I say, I'll find out where this came from and stuff so you can go and have a look at it um, online. I presume it would have come from somewhere. Um, but there we go, short and sweet, like I said. Um, got more videos coming up. Um, so just bear with me, guys. Um, and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.